welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a common issue that many developers encounter when working with Elasticsearch and Python. Our viewer is struggling to retrieve results from Elasticsearch using Python requests. Let's take a closer look at their code and see what might be going wrong. Welcome back to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy like me and find that resolution. Now, let's continue on. Let's start by examining the code you provided for querying Elasticsearch. The first thing to note is the URL you're using for the request. In your code, you're using the get method with the requests library. However, for sending a query to Elasticsearch, you should use the post method instead. Next, ensure that the data you're sending is correctly formatted. The data parameter should be used for the query, but it should be sent as JSON. Let's modify your request to use the JSON parameter instead. Now let's look at the output you're receiving. The response indicates that no shards were successful, which often means that the query did not match any documents. Double check your query structure and the data in your Elasticsearch index. Finally, compare your Python request with the curl command that works. Ensure that the JSON data being sent is identical in both cases. This will help you identify any discrepancies. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. You don't need to escape the star character in your Elasticsearch query when using Python. Just remove the slash. It's recommended to use the official Python client library for Elasticsearch instead of the requests library. And that's it guys. We've gone through, I hope you found your resolution and found the answer you're looking for. If it helped, please hit subscribe, really appreciate it. And be on the lookout for more technical help videos. Have a good one.